couple different ways of going at it here. The first time I would sit, I would shot with the dot, stopped. So it'd be like a bouncing ball. As soon as the dot came down, I would fire a shot. I was trying to shoot all A's on everything. Subjectively watching that, would you say that looked fast to you? No, it wasn't fast. It was just like, I'm trying to drive the bullets on top of each other and you can see, let's go. Center. The second time I shot, what did I do differently? Yeah, so it was, I want the sight in motion the whole time, and I want to be shooting before I see the gun stop and stabilize. And the other thing I changed, I was just looking at the center of the brown, especially here. So I'll look at the center of the brown. Now, the only way that you're going to figure out the right way to go at this stuff is by trying different aiming strategies and then calculating out hit factors. That's the only thing you can really do. But good at, like what we'll do today is have you do both of these things. Like, do some repetitions where you're trying to shoot A's, all A's, and what you'll find is you probably still won't get them. Why not? Look at this target. If you try to shoot all A's on this one over and over and over again, you're not going to do it, and you're still occasionally going to hit no shoots, right? That's just the way it is. Whereas looking off to the center, shooting with the sights a little bit more in motion, depending on the distance and difficulty of the target, that can give you a better result. You want to have this stuff internalized before you go to a match. Why, why is this the case? Yeah, I mean, that sounds obvious, but like it's, it makes it like in a very intuitive sense, you want to understand this stuff. So if I'm three yards away from this target shooting minor, I want to get all the A's, period. But if I'm seven yards away, that starts to change. You'll notice like every yard matters. If you're shooting major, it changes things again. So you, again, a lot of experimentation is really, really important in order to learn what exactly you can get away with. I'll just give you the conclusion. Even if you try to shoot, if you really try to shoot all A's, you probably still won't get them. So for example, if, you, if I have you shoot a, an El Presidente, probably most of you can do it under 10 seconds, right? Right, so if I give you a time and say, hey, it has to be all A's under 10 seconds, people are still gonna occasionally shoot C's, occasionally. So that doesn't really make sense as a, as a strategy for competition, right? Whereas if you shoot five, six seconds, you let a few more C's slip, you get a way better hit factor. You only learn this stuff by experiment, experimenting and trying things. Even if you give yourself 20 seconds to shoot an El Presidente, you'll still get some C's down there.